Hello, this is interesting. Many times I've been asked this question. What is the difference between quadratic equation and quadratic function? We also talked about it a bit while doing function notation. Do you remember when we replaced y with f of x and then we figured out there are so many differences. f of x is not just y replacing y in an equation, right? So this is a time to review it when we just start with quadratic functions. So what is the difference between quadratic equation and a quadratic function? You remember a quadratic equation can be written as y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c, right? It could be repre represented in different ways. For example, vertex form a equals to x minus p whole square plus q or we could write I'm not saying this is like this is another y type of equation or it could be written as x minus x1 times x minus x2 where x1 and x2 are your x-intercepts. So all these equations are quadratic equations and we can replace them and write like fx equals to ax squared plus bx plus c and like that. Right? We can replace y with fx. And that gives rise to our question, is quadratic function, which is this, same as quadratic equation, which is this. Now the answer is, when you look at just the equation part of it, then it looks, yes it is. But you should remember that quadratic function is much more than just an equation. A quadratic function can be represented in so many different ways. For example, I can represent quadratic function as table of values, right? So I can say, well, here is my table of values and these are my x values and these are my y values and then I can write some values here and I can say for this data 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, something like this, I have uh, 1, 4, 9, 16 and this data represents a quadratic function. So I can represent my quadratic function in so many different ways. I can represent in this form also, in the form of mapping diagrams. I hope you remember that too, right? So we say this is my function fx, where 1 is mapped to 1 and 2 is mapped to 4, correct? Minus 2 is mapped to 4, correct? Like this, we can go on and represent a function in as a mapping diagram. Similarly, we can represent function in so many different ways, right? We can represent function in the form of ordered set. I can write this as 0, 0, right? 1, 1, 2, 4, 3, 9, and so on. So I can represent quadratic function in so many different ways. The important thing here is to find the value of our function for any input, we can always get back the right output. For example, at 3, what is the output? 9, correct? You don't really have to evaluate this using an equation y equals to x square. Do you understand? So, what is important here is that quadratic function can be evaluated in many different ways, not just by solving an equation, correct? One more important thing which I would like to highlight here is that when we talk about a quadratic function, then this picture comes to our mind. It could be a parabola going upwards or downwards, right? So here we say that our quadratic function has some domain, right? And domain is x belongs to real numbers and has some range. Is that okay? And range could be y belongs to real numbers where y is greater than or equal to some value. Let's say this value is minus 2. You know, but really from a quadratic equation we are not thinking in terms of domain and range. So function encapsulates a lot more than just an equation. Equation is basically a subset of quadratic function. Correct? So that's how you should see quadratic function and quadratic equation. Let me summarize all this 
and here it is typed out for you. It is like this. Quadratic equation is represented algebraically in the form of y equals to ax square plus bx plus c, whereas a quadratic function can be represented in words by a table of values, by a set of ordered pairs, by a mapping diagram, by a graph, or by an equation, also by an equation. Do you see that? And quadratic function has domain and range, and their dependent variables variable can be predicted for each and every independent variable in all its representations, whether it is in words, tables, graphs, or mapping diagrams. But quadratic equation can only be solved algebraically. So that's kind of a very important distinction between quadratic equation and quadratic function. I hope you remember and appreciate it for all times to come. Okay? Thank you.